Miko Dobrin joins us on Caps TV after a 6-4 victory against the Five Fires in the Challenge Cup. Two points in the Challenge Cup, but progression to the quarterfinals. First coach to do that, you must be proud. Uh, yeah, it's first time for, for the Cups, and, uh, but uh, I think it's a, it's a game of, of the, all, all the people who is there. But, uh, Everybody working on 100% every day, and I think it's good when we make this. I'm going to ask the question that all the fans want to know: What was said in between the second period and the third period? I, I said to guys, guys, we we can lose, but uh, we get, we can lose only after the battle. When when we will play on 100% go to the net and uh, more shots more skating we we can do something and uh, after the game we need to have a heads up the last uh, couple of weeks yourself ian schultz garrett milan have been out injured all back on the ice tonight that must have uh, must have helped uh, garrett and uh, schultz are very important guys for for his team and i i believe when when we play in the full strength uh, and this style how we played the last period we we can be high next week we're only got the one game sunday night here at brayhead in the league that's a a game that we've got two wins against the brayhead clan already are those forgotten about and just concentrating on next week yes uh, we we need forgot the on the challenge cup on the last two games against Brayhead and concentrate only on this game and we we want to win every game. You're the first captain to take us to the quarterfinals of the Challenge Cup. How does that feel? It feels really good. I mean, everyone's chipping in. You know, we're playing some pretty good hockey. Um, but yeah, I feel. I mean, it feels feels great to be a captain of this team and and you know we're hot right now and it's. Uh, you know, it's a, it's an honor to be the captain and to uh, you know be the first one to to take him to the quarterfinals. We're hearing rumours that not much was said in between the second and third period, but uh, was that a case of the guys just knowing exactly what they needed to do? Yeah, we've been uh, we've been in that position before, so I think guys, uh, you know, we knew what we had to do. The guys were pretty quiet, but <clears throat> we just um, you know that's one thing with this team. When we're when we're down, we we don't let it get to us, you know, we're, we're still very confident, very positive and, uh, you know, the game's not over till the last buzzer goes. So when we were sitting in that second period. We, we knew we have some firepower and we knew we could come back. Mentally, it must take a, a lot out of you to be down every week and come back. It certainly takes a lot out of the Caps TV crew, um, but uh, there must be a lot of confidence in the room. Yeah, there is. It's definitely, it's a bit of a roller coaster, but uh, like you said, we've, we have a tendency to kind of go down a couple goals and then come back. Um, we're working on that. We're, we, you know, that's not obviously the ideal way to win, um, but you know, it's been working for us, and, and uh, you know, maybe come out a little bit stronger in the first, second periods in the future, and, and you know, try to win kind of in regulation with uh, without a dramatic comeback. <laughs> There's one game to go in the Challenge Cup against Belfast at home here, um, but as now that the qualifications out the way, is it uh, tensions right onto the league now? Uh, well, you know, we're, we're obviously going to show up and we're going to do everything we can uh, that game. But, uh, yeah, I think everybody's anxious to start the regular season for sure. How much better was it this week just to have those extra bodies on the on the ice? Schultz coming back, Milan coming back, Coach Miko Dobrin coming back as well. That that surely helps. Yeah, it definitely, it definitely helps. It gives us a little bit of depth. And, uh, you know, uh, Milan and, and Schultz especially, they kind of uh, last minute decision to come back. And, and uh, you know, the guys are really happy about that. Those guys really committed to the team and uh, you know we, it was great to have him back to give us that extra depth. 6-4 win against the Five Flyers, it doesn't get bigger than that. No, uh, you know I think the fashion that we did it in you know speaks volumes to the character that uh, that we have in this dressing room you know uh, we were down 4-1 going into the third and you know nobody really panicked nobody kind of started gripping their sticks too tight you know we played with confidence we've been down before and uh, you know we kind of had that feeling that if we got one we'd get a bunch so that's kind of what we, we aimed for and you know look what happened. It's not only two points, but it's uh, progression into the quarterfinals of the Challenge Cup for the first time ever for the Edinburgh Capitals. Again, that must feel good. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's an, it's an exciting time and, uh, you know, keep kind of carving milestones in this organisation. You know, that's that's what we're kind of aim to do. Uh, you know, we've got a great core group of guys in there and, you know, everybody kind of plays their role to a T right now. And, 
you know, the right things are kind of happening for us and, you know, we're going a long way. It's been a tough couple of weeks for yourself out injured to come back tonight and get the game winning goal. It just kind of set up for you. Yeah, definitely. You know, it was kind of a, you know, a fairy tale story. I uh, had been a little bit snake bitten before, uh, you know, missed a couple opportunities, hit a couple posts, you know, and, you know, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel. I hadn't skated in a couple of days, but, uh, you know, the growing kind of felt good and, you know, I started to push it more and more and, you know, it held up pretty well for me and, you know, just kind of right place, right time. Stalls, you made a great pass to the back door and, you know, I was just kind of there to get a stick on it. Next week's a long week. We're not uh, in action until Sunday night against Brayhead Clan in the league. We're one for one in the league. Looking to make it two on two? Yeah, definitely. You know, uh, we got to kind of carry this this confidence and this energy into, into Sunday. Uh, you know, they're, they're riding a hot streak too. You know, they played a lot better uh, lately and, uh, you know, excuse me, they're starting to do the right things too. And, uh, you know, I think they're starting to get bounces, whereas before they were a bit snake bitten. But uh, they got a good group of guys over there. You know, I know I played against a bunch of them, played with a couple of them. And, uh, you know, they're in the exact same situation as we are, you know, hungry for wins. And, and you know, they're going to bring in everything they got. Going back tonight, very, very briefly, um, how big a part did the crowd play in that, that win? Oh, that was awesome. Um, you know, like I said, we kind of had that feeling that if we got one in the third and got the crowd back into it, you know, it was going to kind of snowball, and, and that's exactly what it did. You know, the second one went in for Tipper, and then the third one went in for Dauber, and then the fourth one for Tipper again, and, and you know, every kind of every kind of bounce we got, you know, you could feel them behind you. You know, whether you made a good pass or, you know, took a hit to make a play or a good chip player blocked a shot, you know, they were right there with us. So this is a huge win for us and a huge win for the fans, and, you know, we'd like to thank them for, uh, for bringing us along. Thanks very much for your time, and best of luck next week. Perfect. Thanks a lot.